Hello, from today on, I'm going to start with brand new series of videos which are all about Azure DevOps from the project and team management perspective. So I will not show you how to build the code, how to make continuous integration, continuous delivery, how to integrate code. No. Why? Because I'm not doing it. I am Nena Trajkowski, I am from Croatia, I am not native English speaker, so you will have to forgive me about my mistakes uh, in my uh, presentation, which are all going to be about language, and you should know what you should expect. You should expect that I will show you in the hundreds of videos how to manage project with Azure DevOps. You can ask yourself, okay, Nenad, you recorded so many videos and you are going to continue with those videos about Microsoft Project. So why should we use Azure DevOps? Or should we use Azure DevOps instead of Microsoft Project? The answer is no. Microsoft Project is a very powerful tool for waterfall projects. What does it mean? For very well-planned projects. So let's say construction projects. If you have construction projects or projects, any kind, which can be planned in advance, then you should use Microsoft Project. On the other hand, if you have project which cannot be planned in advance, so so-called agile projects, in that case, Microsoft Project is not useful. Then you should jump into Azure DevOps. So which approach should I take? I thought and I know that I can show you a lot, a lot, a lot of things about how to organize Microsoft Project, how to administer them in a way as administrator will work, or should I show you how to use that? So basically, I will start with how to use it, but of course, I will integrate some parts of uh, administration because something should be set up before you starting using in a proper way. And as far as we go, I will jump into administration. Why should I start with how to use it in the, from the user perspective? Because sometimes you will ask yourself, not sometimes, many times, can I do it with Azure DevOps? And that is the place in which you will know, uh, can you do it with Azure DevOps or not? And uh, a much important thing is, is my project to use Azure DevOps or Microsoft Project? So this is for introduction. So let me start with the first thing, and this is how to log in into Azure DevOps. First thing first, go to azure.microsoft.com products DevOps, as you can see here, and click on start free or start free with GitHub if you are going to use GitHub. I will start free and I will jump into my Microsoft login account. If you have one Microsoft account, then you can use it. If not, you can create one. Let's say that you have one, and now I'm going to use my. So when I put it here, okay, and click on next, and okay, I will use, I will use my password, okay. I will sign in. I have Microsoft Authenticator. I will authenticate myself, okay. Yes, it's me. And I will jump into my Azure environment, Azure DevOps environment. As you can see, I here have, have some things. I have placed where can I create a new project. I have here one default organization, or I can create a new organization and I can set my organization 
put on organization settings if I have administrative rights and I can put some, uh, set up some things here. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about organization. So basically what is organization? Organization is collection of projects. It's totally fine if you want to have only one organization and put all your projects in, in there, but sometimes you will have so many projects that should be divided by apartment, by divisions, by whatever. So for this case, I will create a new organization. And when I click here on new organization, and I will say, okay, you should uh, choose which organization do you want. And I will say, okay, I want to call my organization Nenad Azure DevOps Videos. And it will ask me where is, where do I want to host the project? Because it's all in Asia. I can put it on Central US, North Europe, South Asia, etc., etc. I will choose West Europe and I should put this one. I hope I will not be wrong with that. Okay, and I will click on continue. And it says challenge or uh, validation fail. Of course, I didn't type it well, so let's see. This time, 3LXVD, continue. Okay, thank you to your DevOps organization, and after a while, my organization will be created. Now we are done. We have our organization here. What can I do? I can go to my old organization, because remember, there is no such a thing like Azure DevOps without organization. When the new environment is created, the default organization is created as well. So I can choose this one, and I can go to organization settings, and under overview, you will see my organization. I could choose delete, and I should retype it, and after that, all the projects, everything what is in this organization will be lost. I am not going to do that. Be very careful because you have 30 days to recover and after that it is gone forever. So let's go back here, Azure DevOps, and now we are all set. So let's do the next thing. What should we do first? We can create a project or we can see which are the users who can access our environment, our organization. And that is the subject of our next video. So, once again, welcome to the uh, brand new set of videos about Azure DevOps. I hope you will enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe on my videos series on YouTube. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.